what is up ladies and gentlemen the mr beast hate train just seems to be continuing on uh, ladies and gentlemen today we're gonna be talking about mr beast removing comments of uh, people losing respect for mr beast and just all around how he just mishandled this whole situation the dislike bomb going on on his channel uh guys don't trust those third-party uh, plugins let's get right into the news <laughs> Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Flutter. We're gonna say brand new video and today. We got the YouTube drama Reddit page coming up here, and they got a whole discussion feed going on about how they've lost all respect for Mr. Beast based on how he's handled the recent situation. You guys, you guys already know what it is. Uh, let's just go ahead right into this. Like, first, he lied about not knowing about the Chris allegations. We all know that he knew about the Chris allegations. It was made apparent to him a while ago, and he did nothing to. What can you really do? I mean, like, it's it's hard personally. You know, I'm not Mr. Beast, so I would have cut them off immediately, bro. And then face it was gonna happen regardless, but I'm pretty sure um, NDAs, all legal things. You know, it's you know what? It just seems like a big giant thing. You know, in a perfect world, you just get rid of it. Then they took down the website with the Discord messages, which is insane to me. Mr. Beast is taking down the Discord, the the website that was holding the archived Discord messages, which is crazy. Sending a cease and assist to the person who made the website, and another one to Dogpack 404, which is insane to me. Their legal team is trying to get ahead of this by silencing the crowd, and I'm telling you guys right now, every time these companies do this, every time these brands do this, every time these YouTubers do this, it never works out in their favor. So it really just makes it look like Mr. Beast is hiding from everything. It's insane. You can't cover this up. It's, it's out there. We will not forget. This will be brought up over and over and over. You'll never escape it. You're never going to get rid of it. Not to mention how terribly he ran everything with Beast Games and seemingly failed to take any accountability. He's now start... He now, he's now started tripling down and has turned his comment section and subreddit into 1984. They're super censored right now. Um, most people can't even comment in the comment sections. The subreddits, you say one thing. It's over for you. You're put on the firing line and you're shot down pretty much right away. The Mr. Beast games, though, I kind of agree with him. People are getting hurt at the Mr. Beast games, but he's also telling people to sign these waivers uh, because obviously you're going to get hurt. I mean, you don't look at Wipeout and think that those people just don't get hurt. They also have to sign waivers, too. I, I don't see that as a big deal. I don't see that as like a, a big issue. Uh, so that one can get discredited right away. But the, the Reddit and the comment section thing, I don't know if that was Mr. Beast directly. I don't know if he directly controls those entities. It might be the the representation, the firm that he used, the, me the media company that backs Mr. Beast. They might be the ones telling him to do that. Um, I'm hard pressed to see Jimmy actually do that. But we don't, I don't really know the logistics. It still looks very crummy and Mr. Beast is still not really saying much other than that shitty response he had. I wish he had at least the decency to do the bare minimum and own up to everything and say it won't happen again. I mean, yeah, he's going to say that, but it's still going to happen. I mean, like, we're still going to hate on him, so that doesn't really solve the issue. That doesn't give us a resolution. Uh, it's really disappointing to see, and even more disappointing, that his average viewer base will probably not learn about how manipulative he is or care about it. Now, I want to be real. Um, making one statement on a platform like X, while all the out outrage and where everyone has, like, a specific voice and, you know, mass followers could just come in and it's direct interactions... I think it's very smart and then just to continue on as if nothing happens but to sweep it under the rug i, I don't really like and uh even the uh this guy says smart move on his part make one statement on a platform twitter slash x where all the outrage is and then carry on as if everything is normal with his views and engagement on top of all the money and power backing him it'll get swept under the rug as long as he doesn't bring more attention to the controversy now i kind of agree with this statement as i really don't want that to be the case though but i feel like that's what's going to happen we have to keep pushing on Mr. Beast cannot get away with this. Chris Tyson needs to be taken down. And unfortunately, Mr. Beast and everybody around Chris Tyson with Shadman, they're all collateral. They're all pieces. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's its insane to me. Mr. Beast, you need to come out. You need to come forward with it. It's insane. This is insane. The accountability is on your part. Let me know what you guys think about them deleting the comments. Let me know what you guys think about them getting rid of the discords. Uh, let me know what you guys think about them just absolutely bare knuckling down and just tripling down, quadrupling down, and just absolutely censoring everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.